Hello my friends, today we are going to learn about bald cypress bonsai trees. We will show you how to make cuttings from bald cypress, how to fertilize and how to care for them. Let's get started. This five years old bald cypress bonsai tree is getting too tall. It is the perfect thickness to take cuttings from. Let's maintain the tree first. Cut off all the extra roots. Then cut off the branches that are too tall or growing sideways. While cutting, don't forget our triangle rule. Shorter on the top, wider at the bottom. It is very important not to cut off all its leaves because it is the summer season here in Taiwan. Without any leaves, the tree cannot survive because leaves are needed for photosynthesis. Now, let's trim the cuttings. Trim off about two thirds of its leaves, just like this. Each cutting can be about 15 centimeters long. Use the cuttings that have a thick bark. Without it, the cuttings cannot grow because they are too young. Now plant it in the training pot. The two inch pot can fit five cuttings at a time. The cuttings are small, so you should use smaller size academa soil. The smaller size soil can stay wetter for longer. We will use some root hormone also. Make sure you read the instructions before because each one is different. This formula says 1 cc for 2000 cc of water. Stir it well. Okay. Now you can place your fresh cuttings into the solution. Let it soak there for two hours. Making cuttings from a tree is a great way to get more trees for free. There are other ways to make more trees. Check out our other video called Mulberry Air Layering. I leave a link down below. While you are here, the t-shirts that we are wearing and a range of others are available at JacquelineBonsai.com. Be sure to check them out. Check out this tree. Even this thick can be used as cuttings. No need to air layer. Just put it in root hormone water like the others. In about four weeks, it will grow new roots. Don't panic if you accidentally remove all the leaves from the mother tree. Just plant a cutting next to the mother tree. Once that cutting starts to grow new roots, you can graft it to the mother tree. Now, here is a slanted bald cypress. I want to keep growing more branches. Then, we can bend them down like this one using bonsai wires. We call it the cascade weeping willow style. Okay, after two hours, we can now put the fresh cuttings into another tray of water. This tray is 10 by 20 inches and three inches tall with no drainage holes. Bald cypress needs a lot of water to grow, or even grow in just water. They do grow naturally in swamps and streams. Now place the whole tray somewhere in the shade, because the summer sun is too strong for the fresh cuttings in Taiwan. In about one year, the tree will grow new roots. Then, you can put fertilizer high in nitrogen into the water below. Again, please read the instructions before you apply the fertilizer. My fertilizer is 1 gram to 2000 cc of water. Now, 
place the whole tray onto it just like before. Check out this one. It is growing without any soil. I'll add some soil now. You can trim off the roots and take out the dead ones. While you're there, take out the weeds as well. Check out for bugs and maintain the trees. Oh look, this one is dead. Don't keep it or it would rot and get moldy. How can you tell if a tree is alive or not? Just gently scratch off some of its bark. If it is not green, then it is dead and gone to bonsai heaven. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification button.